everyone, Mason here. Welcome back. Whoa, I'm uh, I'm up here. I'm up here for some reason. I am. I'm not supposed to be up there. Not supposed to be up there. Uh, so let's see if we can do a quick fix. But hello, everyone. Welcome back to some more Phoenix. Right? Where is this thing? Thing? There it is. Uh, we're gonna be continuing this because if we keep playing, uh, what's it called? Rebirth. At the rate we're going, we're not going to come back to this for like a month and I'm going to forget wherever we're at. So I don't want to do that. <laughs> and uh, with a game like this, I would absolutely forget any of the uh, the stuff that I had set up. So, whoa. Oh, it's fixed. It's fixed. We're good. We're great. We're dandy. Um, anyway. I don't remember where we left off. Uh... We're in a murder, or we're doing a, we're doing a murder where there's something happen. Oh crap. This one looks like the most, re yes, okay. We're doing a, a murder like happened in a, a parking garage. Oh my God. I forgot about this man. <laughs> oh crap, you know what? I just realized. I forgot. Crap. I've forgotten uh, a lot of their voices. Him, I, I, I can almost guarantee I know his voice. Was I up here in this? Oh, whoa. Why did pushing that button? Whoa, I just pushed a button on my stream deck and it reorganized all my windows. That was weird. I misclick something? I better not have. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, man. Old Nick needs to pop. It's weird. Haven't played a mouse and keyboard game for a while. Let's go! Um. Oh, I should have reviewed my past mods. <laughs> I don't even know where we're at. There's one of those things that proves that Matt, the mad was Detective Goodman, sir. I don't remember who Detective Goodman is. Uh, was that the guy that died? Okay, things are coming back to you come back to me some dude was killed in two places at the same time right and that's what we're trying to figure out you enter the evidence room one must use the id card when an id card is used there's a record of it at the time of the crime the detective had used his card oh i forgot about you uh i don't even remember her voice unfortunately also i better not be dropping any frames watching you internet has been shite the past few weeks um i thought it was just the snow and the weather we were getting um no it's it's everywhere because i've had to go to the office what are you doing what are you sniffing hi what are you sniff sniffing didn't know what are you sniffing that better not be a live spider that's huge fuck you Yes, it is. I squished it, but it didn't squish it. Ah, die, die! Oh my god, it's still alive. It won't die. I had to smash it like 20 times with this bottle. It wouldn't get squished. It kept finding like this, the bits in between the bottle or something. Ooh, ooh. that's a big, that's a big spider. Is that what you saw, Jada? Is that why you came over here? You see the spider run across? You were coming to get it? You are trying to get that spider? It's right there, I smooshed it. I smooshed the spider. She catches them, so I think she's upset. If she had seen it, she's like, I don't know where it went. I got it, don't worry. Thank you for your help. Also, my green screen's like falling backwards for some reason. Anyway. Mr. Ray, what do you see? I don't remember your voice, Emma, I apologize. I'm confused. What? Uh, okay, I remember... I have so many cables over here. I remember I had a voice like this, right? Yeah. Problem with this ID card test when he is far too obvious. Is it? Phoenix, it's been like three weeks. Uh, it's not like Edward to miss something like this. You're thinking too hard about it. Come on, let's show them what we got. Oh, 
was I playing this with... I think I was playing this with controller after all, because I do not remember pushing Q for anything. That's silly. Let's see. Yep, because I remember the press. Okay. There's one other thing that proves the man was a Jekyll Goodman, sir. What was that? So unlike your earlier testimony, you believe this to be rock solid, do you? Yes, sir. Solid as stone, sir. If my hand wasn't wrapped in bandages, I'd even give a V for victory sign, sir. You can do it with that hand, but oh, I forgot that you do that really annoying horn thing. Can you just use his right hand for that? See, Emma's on it. It's your him out and fully. I think that's his voice. As we've seen, one never knows what you might say until the last second. Yeah, that means his testimony sucks. To enter the evidence room, one must use our ID card. Is that card hanging from your neck? One of these ID cards? Yes, sir! The card right next to my cuff, sir. I keep it here so I won't forever forget it. What if someone were to steal it from you, keeping it out in the open like that? Also, was it him or Gumshoe that gone through a bunch of cards. That feels like a gumshoe thing. Maybe I shouldn't wear it around my neck. <laughs> Remember when I said two out of three times my tie gets stuck when I get out of my car? Well, the remaining time, it's my ID card that gets stuck. <gasps> Instead of the door closing, my ID card gets... chokes me. Is that what he said? Maybe I should just leave this one alone. I tell you, right? Each police officer has only one ID card. I think that's his voice. I don't remember Edward's voice either. What was the police department in the prosecutor's office can attest to this? I think that's it. Please proceed with your testimony. Shit. But an ID card is used as a record of it. Let it be noted that this is the record the witness referred to. Oh, I remember this. Let me see. Yes, that would be it. Detective Goodman. What's the matter? According to this, it's Red Riz. Your name is on here. That's my name. Don't wear it out. So it is, Your Honor. Not the prosecutor again. Maybe he's behind us again. Being a prosecutor, you could hide the evidence. Bobby is a man of blue, a murderer. <laughs> Shh, don't stare at him. You got the wrong color, kid. <laughs> With him. What's up, Space? Welcome to the stream, gentlemen. I'm Cookie. Jada. Are you still under me? Where are you? Nope. Oh, hi. I'm sorry. You're over here. This cookie for you. Gotta move your camera. There you go. How you doing? Welcome to the stream, stream. Doesn't it feel like it should be Thursday already? Oh, it was the longest Monday. It would seem. Mm. The inquiry, or it would seem the inquiry committee, we want to speak with you again today. I have nothing to be ashamed of regarding my actions or their consequences. For now, let's continue with the cross examination. Poor Mr. Edgeways, it must be so difficult for him. I think that's her voice. I'm doing all right, too. Freaking Mondays, dude. Horrible. And I was really worried, like last night, I was getting all gunky. And you know, all on here, it's like, I'm fucking getting sick. So like I got it, I went into work really late because I, I just thought I wasn't gonna take the day off, but I started feeling a little bit better. Gross. Ooh, excuse me. At the time of the crime, the detective had to use his card. Oh. Earlier, I believe you testified that when you asked the man to show his ID card, he pulled a knife on you. Yes, sir. He didn't show me any ID card, sir. Don't you think that's odd? I mean, if he had his ID card, all he had to do was show it to you. There wouldn't be any reason to draw a knife. Hit this fucking guy. Maybe I just panicked. Who panics and carried a knife like that? Everything stems from contradictions. Let's point them out. Mr. Ray, what do you think? I'm confused. What? The problem with this ID card testimony is far too obvious. It's not like Edward to miss something like this. Oh shit. Uh. Okay. Did I not? I must, I don't remember any of those. So we must not have pressed him last time. 
you played. So, um, can I push this? Can I push this? From this? I'm trying to push the, the options button, and it's not opening. I pushed both of them. Neither of them worked. Uh. To enter the evidence room, one must use their ID card. When an ID card is used, there's a record of it. At the time of the crime, the detective had used his ID card. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Investigator's ID card found at the prosecutor's office. No. Okay. Uh, present. But this one was found not... Not at the police department. Uh, right? Sick! Wait one moment, Officer Meekins. Your name's weird. I'm not good at waiting, sir. I had the victim's ID card right here. I found it at the crime scene. That makes sense. Not that crime scene. When I say crime scene, I'm not referring to the evidence room at the police department. I mean the other crime scene. The underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. Bum, bum, bum. Edgeworth, you're very quiet. Your Honor, I have one more piece of evidence to present. It's a very important clue to regarding the victim's ID card. Er, lost item report? It's only half completed. Uh. Is that the thing? Is that one of the things that we got from, uh. Whoa. One of the things we got from the evidence locker room, right? I want to say it is. Kara, what's up, my dude? I appreciate you popping in. Actively working and super busy. Got to disappear. Oh, I appreciate you popping in, my dude. I hope uh, your busy days aren't bad. Because busy days can be good. Uh, oop, uh, oop. Have a good one, dude. Thank you so much for the lurk. Uh, but it shows that Detective Goodman had lost something on the day of the crime. Something important enough to fail this report. Oh, he may. Okay, so that's probably what missing thing was. Is he he lost his badge? Let me guess. You believe this something to be his ID card, right? I can't say for sure. There is a high probability. On the day of the crime, Detective Goodman was not carrying his card. Bum, bum, bum. I would have not put that together. Order, order. So now what does this all mean? It can only mean one thing. It doesn't even require much thought. Man Officer Meekins encountered in the evidence room. It's not Detective Goodman. Holy crap, that zoom in. But rather the man who stole his ID card. Clap, clap. Order, order, order. Does the prosecution have a response? Now he's just gonna stand over the edge in this hall. I have only one thing to say to the defense. Please, let me take you out to dinner. Bravo, Mr. Wright. B Bravo. Allow me to summarize the defense's argument. At 5.15 p.m. on the day of the crime. I do like this tune. Makes me feel good. The man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered. The man in the evidence room Officer Meekins encountered was not Detective Goodman. There are two grounds to support this. Oh yeah, we had this weird like video thing too. First, the locker in the evidence room was already unlocked. Second, the victim lost his ID card. Oh, that need like a fingerprint or something too? Is that what he's gonna bring up? Am I correct so far, Mr. Wright? Yes. What's he up to? That being the case, we must inevitably... Inevitably... Oh, I can't. That word right now. Arrive at a single conclusion. If the victim in this video is a fake, then the murder in the evidence room is also fake. In other words, the security camera does not show the instant of the murder. Oh, snap. That is... Well, I guess that's right. Something wrong, Mr. Wright. Only moments ago, you seemed contented, pointing your finger around. This isn't going on 
going to end well. Well, well, it seems you finally realize exactly what you've gone to such great, such lengths to prove. Explain yourself, Mr. Edgeworth. The defense has already done the explaining for me. Oof. The victim in this video is a fake, which means the murder did not take place. At the police department at 5.15 in the day of the crime. Two. So the real crime could only take place at one location, the underground parking lot. Ooh, excuse me, I apologize. At the prosecutor's, er, at the prosecutor's office. The murderer being Miss Lana Sky, the defendant. The evidence is compelling. A trustworthy witness. Observe the moment of the defendant, use the murder weapon. Vegans, <laughs> that cannot be good for your back standing that way. I knew that testimony was way too shabby. It was all a trap for the from the beginning. It's a trap. The activity in the evidence room still leaves many questions unanswered. Who actually was the victim Officer Meekins encountered? But he. Yeah, Meekins! You're horribly. You're horribly observant? You're, no, you're horribly. Your observant skills are horrible. There it is. I can words. And where did this person disappear to? However, this trial's purpose is to examine only the murder of Detective Goodman. Oh, hush, you. Ooh. Ah, sorry. Yawns. Yes, so, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, you have to do something or else, Lana. Ooh, I'm not supposed to get out of this mess. Uh. Wait and see what happens. I better pace myself. If I get rush ahead, I might run into another trap. Oh, Mr. Wright, if you don't do anything. It seems the defense is out of ammunition. The surrender flag has been raised. Wait! I fucked up. Your Honor, maybe you have your ruling now. Don't give up, Mr. Wright. Get up and fight. Objection! <laughs> I object, Your Honor. One moment, Your Honor. But now, Mr. Wright, don't tell me you're objecting to what you've just proven. Of course not. But I almost walked right into the prosecution's trap. What are you talking about? This cross-examination has proven one thing and one thing only. The security video did not show the exact actual murder. Oh, they like timed it perfect so they could sneak out. Whew. Am I supposed to be doing something here? However, it cannot be said that it is unrelated to the murder in the parking lot. Shit. Specifically, large amounts of blood traces were found in the evidence room. Kind of happens when it's an evidence room. Although everything's supposed to be bagged. The defense demands further examination of the truth of the matter. I am so very sorry. Mr. Edward. Yes, Your Honor. If this court were to examine this further, would other witnesses will be necessary. Is the prosecution prepared? I'm sorry, Your Honor. The prosecution considered the incident at the police department to be unrelated. We have not prepared any other witnesses for this incident. Aw, oh, shit. We're gonna have to go through another hunting spree. This just might be my chance. Time to call a certain Texas Ranger to the stand. Oh, that's right. We got this, that goofy guy. Mr. Wright, do you mean... Your Honor, the defense would like to request a specific witness. Oh, whom do you have in mind? Someone we have reason to believe knows the truth. The truth behind the activities that took place in the evidence room. The prosecution requests to hear this person's name before deciding whether or not to comply. That's not how that works, is it? Very well then, Mr. Wright. This person whom you would have to testify? What is his or her name? Ah, shit! I forgot about that guy. This person! Officer Jake Marshall. Why him? 
I can't let Edward know everything just yet. He's in charge of the evidence room. I feel we should hear what he has to say. <sighs> Holy crap, I am so sorry. The prosecution agrees to the defense's request. Since he has a since he was responsible for guarding the room, we would hear his testimony. Fortunately, fortunately, he works in the police department. We shouldn't need longer than 20 minutes to prepare. We don't have to prepare for shit. Very well. The court will take a 30 minute recess while the witness is subpoenaed. For the prosecution, please prepare the witness during this time. We will, Your Honor. The court is now in recess. Okay. Recess time. I get the jungle gym. I don't remember you guys' voices. There's no stopping you, is there, Mr. Wright? I think that was... I think I gave her, like, Mia's voice similar, right? Huh, what do you mean? You called for Jake Marshall. It seems you've figured everything out. Uh... I haven't figured anything out. everything I, did i i might have given her a filter excuse me why am i so yawning oh i burpy i apologize emma you always know everything why don't you just tell us it's the way he's trying his hardest to protect you i i don't recall ever asking for his protection how can he be so cold don't you trust us? Don't you trust me? Hope I'm not interrupting, pal. <laughs> oh, gumshoe. Never change. Ah, uh, yes, I am. I'll come back later. <laughs> Wait, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? <laughs> you got a lot of nerve, pal, making a detective run all around the while on duty. And top of it, call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Wait, did we call you here? Sorry, Detective. You better be. You better be, pal. Hey, 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 hey. I, I didn't see you there, but she's Prosecutor Sky. What the hell just happened? It's okay. So, have you brought what I asked? Oh, she asked him. Ah, 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 ah. You mean this, right? What the fuck? Is he having a stroke? My apologies, Detective. Due to my present circumstances, I was forced to use Mr. Wright's name when making my request. My name? You just forged documents? Never in a million years would I have thought it was you who asked me. Could I bother you to bring the SL9 incident files? I need them by noon. Talk about crazy. SL9 incident? Oh my god, everything's tied into that. What line is it? I thought Miss Wright might need them, so I had them brought here. Here, you might do well to read them. I can't believe you, the Chief Prosecutor. We're a witness in this case. This guy was a witness? Whoa! SL9 incident files received from Lana Sky. Files for the Joe Dark killing this solved two years ago. So dark. Take it from here. You don't want anything to do with the serial murders. Ah, what? Now that I've brought you your stuff, you're just gonna ignore me? But Emma, but why? Why is your name in here? Or why is your name in here? What? My name's in there? I don't know. Unless. No, it couldn't be. Lana! This is a line incident, is that? What the fuck is happening? That's the classification number the police filed it under. Two years ago, the rest of the world knew it as... The Joe Dark Killings. The Joe Dark... No. No, Lana. That's over with. No. What's happening? Did she just pass out? Emma, wait. She ran away. What is happening? Eh, uh, you know what? I just remembered I, I gotta be somewhere. Sorry, pal, but I'm out of here. Oh my god. Everything just got cranked to 11. Jake Marshall, An Angel Star, Damon Gant, Miles Edgeworth. 
Okay, Jake Marshall's the, the Texas policeman. Angel Star's the lunchbox lady. We are, we know who Edgeworth is. Damon is the, the Wolverine guy, right? Not to mention Lana and Emma. Everyone involved, everyone involved in this case is connected to those killings two years ago. This can't be just a coincidence. No, you, you just might be able to figure it out. Let me get back to the trial, Mr. Wright. Best of luck. Why can't you help at all? I'd better take a good look at this file. Shit. To be continued. Oh, man, we were actually not too far away from the, the next chapter. Boop, 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 boop. It saved. It just makes no noise and it throws me off. All right, back in court. 30 minute session is up. The court will now, oh, the court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Emma didn't come back. Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge regarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Allowed to drink on the stand? Is that water? Witness, please state your name and occupation. Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man, same as you. Wander in the trials of civilization. I don't remember his voice exactly. Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Yes, we get it. Oh, I know, you're a patrolman. As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. God, this guy's more edgy than Edgeworth. To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, Your Honor. Howling wind? I've never heard Edgeworth described that way before. <laughs> Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime took place. Oop. My bad. Is this correct? You were allowed to bring your knife into the room? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? The desperado soul is boundless as the desert sands. No paper can sum it up. guy is painful to read <laughs> maybe it's best we get on with this quickly yes thank you please share with us your testimony of the day of the crime in plain old english yes please <laughs> my job was to keep a wary eye on the bone orchard i think that's closer he doesn't have a uh, edward's voice they said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but they ain't my style. Besides, rooms are protected by two security systems anyway. So you just admitted that you weren't doing your job and someone could have snuck in. If I remember right, I was at the side, street side saloon at the time it went down. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time to hit the trail. I'm gonna press him on that last bit, just, just for funsies. I can't say a particular care for your attitude. I can't say I care for your beard, but that don't see me. But you don't see me complaining. <laughs> Sassy. Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a co cowpoke like you knows about those. Yes, well, what about the fingerprint activated locks on the evidence lockers? Fingerprint activated locks. What kind of newfangled doohickey are those? So do they not work? That's huge if those don't work. He's not being very helpful. He's, he's not that good with machines or with following orders. <laughs> Everyone's got their weaknesses now, don't they, Miss Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. Okay, Mr. Ray, he's all yours. <laughs> wow, you just like, said it. like, feel free to unleash upon him. Do the flags and stuff? Change color every time someone else is new on the stand? I don't remember them being yellow. I remember the, the columns being yellow. Not the flags. My job was to keep a wary eye on that bone orchard. Bone orchard? What the heck is a bone orchard? How exactly do you keep an eye on it? On the evidence room? 
I just made sure nothing moved in the security camera monitor. That room's so still. Even time dies in there. I was just a caretaker when you inter interred the recordings. You interred them? Videos of nothing aren't that useful when it... When the time would come, I'd erase the tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, tapes are to be erased every six hours. Each time I'd erase the tape, I felt like I was erasing a part of my life. This guy has flair for the dramatic, but isn't going to do him any good. So in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but it ain't my style. But you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Ain't you heard a word I said, partner? I told you that ain't my style. Um, I'm afraid I don't understand. No desperado I know lets rules get in his way. What a great thing for a cop to say. No desperados I know join the police force. <laughs> so, Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime, just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. There was a rubber glove stuck to the victim's locker. Do you know anything about that? Sorry, partner, I just can't, can't say I do. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired? I was just gonna say that. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. What's up, Brewster? Getting hammered on the stand? This guy is... This guy is something else. How you doing, my dude? You used to be a detective, so you used the evidence room in the past, correct? Of course. Back in the day, my locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Sorry, partner. I ain't good with machines. I couldn't even tell you how bad it works. That's quite, uh, incredible. A few sensors in the locker handles cannot be seen. It's well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. Now that he mentions it, Detective Gumshoe said something like that, too. At any rate, it doesn't seem that this is relevant to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing when the crime took place? If I remember right, I was at the street sign saloon at the time, at the time went down. What are you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. <laughs> Not even Angel Steak lunches can beat the parlors. But I don't know what that word is. Mongole sepia pasta. I don't know. Words I don't know. But it sounds delicious. Even if I completely butchered the pronunciation. Do you mean to tell us you abandoned your police duties to eat some noodles? Fair. Not all desperados eat tacos, partner. Fuck, I'm so hungry and they're just bringing up spaghetti and tacos. That's not what I meant. I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. That's strange. It's usually where Edgeworth says, Did you not want to raise this year? Oh, because he's talking about uh, when Gum Shoes on the stand. Ugh. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time to hit the trail. What does that mean? Out of ammo? Officer Marshall? That's right, partner. Or as you call it, evidence. If you plan to pin this on me, pin me to this crime, then you'd better draw. Otherwise, you're just wasting my time. My steel horse is waiting to carry me back to the west into the sunset. Hmm. Please stop your annoying ramblings. Or I'll hold you in contempt. One thing seems clear, despite being responsible for guarding the evidence room. The witness doesn't appear to have any seen anything. Texans, Texans don't take orders from anyone. Everyone knows that. Apparently your superiors don't. Okay, I have a trump card up my sleeve, so I'd best keep my cool. Before I use it, though, I better up, my, up the ante. I don't know what's happening. Uh... He said it was supposed to make the rounds three times a day. And there's so much shit here. What is this? Oh, SL9, right. Uh. Uh. None of the crime scene wrapped in the defendant's mo- Okay. 
that might be useful. I don't remember what that is for. One sixteen is written on the tag. That means it has nothing to do with the current case. Ugh, Texas, right? <laughs> uh, can only be submitted by the chief police. Scene of the stabbing. This rubber glove. We never check these out. Perpetrator Joe Dark, crime, steal, and murder, sentenced to death. The victims. Neil Marshall. Trial data. Head prosecutor is Miles. This is Lana and Emma. Executive investigators. Head investigator. Jake Marshall is there. I'm gonna save because I'm gonna end up accidentally murdering myself. It's been too long. And I don't remember like any of my evidence here. The signs of the room is protected by two security systems. I feel like it's that one. Statement is yeah. Ouch! You just slapped me in the face. <laughs> Was I driving anyone nuts? Job is to keep track. Keep, dude. We might have to look this one up because it's been so long. I have no idea what I could possibly present. Fuck. Keep track. Make the rounds. Protected by security systems. Fuck. It's gotta be something related to this. Shit. Alright. We'll do a, a Google. Hopefully it'll work. Ace attorney protected by two security security systems. Ah. Oh no. He doesn't know about the fingerprint locks. Correct. Present Marshall's prints. What? I 
That doesn't it doesn't tell me what I'm supposed to do. I did that one, it didn't work. What am I supposed to present to him? He doesn't tell me what I'm supposed to do. What? I already did all these. Okay, uh, maybe this isn't gonna work. Ace Attorney up the ante. Shares his crime. Hit the trail. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean security system. Yeah, cross examination. Poland's trump card, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. I remember right, I was at the street side saloon at the time it went down. Wait, hold on a minute. Found of the bloody handprint left in the evidence room, the print has been wiped. There it is. Thank you, walkthrough. Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd? That is, you being called in to testify like this. Ooh. He's brooding. Wow, Jade is snoring up a storm. After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. It's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. Hmm. Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that creep. I pay my respects. That's my rounds. About once a month. It's only natural my handprint would be in there. You say you never go in there, though. I only wish it were, officer. But you see, the fingerprints were covered in blood. Good news. What is the meaning of this? The blood stained fingerprints were at the cream crime scene. The blood was wiped away, however. A luminal test clearly revealed this. Well, Mo Officer Marshall, you're gonna end up cutting yourself, dude. It seems to me there ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. I take it you have an explanation, then, Officer Marshall, about the er, about the blood stained fingerprints. Very well. You may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. Down at the scene of the crime. Oh, fuck. You just keep giving them chances to make more lies. Lies! Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? See, I had nothing to do with it. Would he know that the murderer wore gloves? 
Hmm, the witness's explanation appears valid. Although there's room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. This guy, oh, this guy's hiding something. I can feel it. Now's my chance to prove it. Okay. Yeah, dude, he's just fucking going to town on that freaking drink of his, isn't he? Watch, it's just full of, like, apple juice. That's probably what it is. <laughs> All right. Uh, like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in the evidence room. Press! That's because you... How did you put it? Pay your respects once a month? Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. It made that ding noise. What? What do you mean? I mean what I said. That's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. And all, all that's in there now, though, is a heap of broken dreams. I see. I'd still be... It'd be strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. Apparently his fingerprint data was never removed from the logger's programming. He must have been using the fingerprint lock all this time without even ever knowing it. How do you... How do you use that without knowing it? Marshall's fingerprints updated as a court record. Found on the bot bloody handprint of Marshall's own locker. Okay. One of them just happened to be in the same place as my as the blood sand handprint. So then, what about the bloody handprint? What is it mine? It's no mystery. Please explain. My locker is covered with fingerprints. It just so happened. The murderer touched the locker with where my fingerprint was by chance. That's suspicious as fuck. Yeah. The chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that not happening are a million to one. Get one thing straight, partner. You ain't gonna get no reward for me with a mere fingerprint. You wanna know why? The blood scene and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Unrelated? They're as different as night and day. Not like cereal and cereal. The music cut out and that ding. One's got to do with breakfast while the other's a type of murder. He's right, or he's right. Although seemingly unlike, they're totally different. What? Judge. I don't see what hom homonyms have to do with this. <laughs> how did he know the murderer was wearing gloves? See, how did he? I didn't think he knew that. The, ah, ah, thank you, Phoenix. How do you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up on the reports. There was a blood stain on the scene. Thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found in the detective gun shoes locker. Okay. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Hmm. So that would mean the murderer wearing gloves happened to place their hand on top of Officer Marshall's fingerprint. See, if he's wearing gloves, then he wouldn't have left a fingerprint. Uh. That's the only logical conclusion. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? The seal. The seal of blood in the desert. It's just food for the buzzards. There's only one reality, and that's this. The security tape. So long as my trial isn't... Oops. So long as my trial isn't in there, you can't say otherwise. What? This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully where you're going with this cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Now then, continue your, your testimony, Officer Marshall. Uh... Too bad it wasn't me. Oh! Too bad it wasn't me in the... Er, too bad it wasn't me in that video rap, I don't know. Fuck you. What do you mean by that? You want to tie me to this crime, isn't that right, partner? If so... That video is the only direct evidence you have. 
That video is next useless. It's full of blind spots. Blind spots? Oh my god, this judge. Places you can't see! <laughs> Camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, they could leave the room without being caught on tape. Stop it, Edgeworth! We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. Wright, if you can show us evidence in this video that indicates Officer Marshall is present, please do so now. Very well, allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. And carefully, Mr. Wright. You might wind up it. You might wind up being the one making the mistake. Now then, let's have another look at the video. Oh, show us the incriminating evidence of the witness. Shit. Show us the incriminating evidence of the witness. Fuck. See, he was wearing gloves. Glove fell out. seen that see like how did he get out It seems there's more, there's more evidence from the incident. But there's no blood on that glove. Right? What if I use that? video oh here you go show evidence look at the G look at jake's locker i remember who that is what's up ducky what's cracking welcome on in it's good to see you i don't remember who jake is there's a piece of cloth sticking out of it if you rewind it you see it wasn't there really i was dude i was losing my mind uh how do i back up rewind It, yeah, see? It was this one, right? Amelia? Yeah, I, I recognize your name because of the Kaizen in front of it. How you doing, dude? You prefer to still stay by Amelia? How you been, man? How's uh, classes treating you? Is there a faster fast forward? This one works cool. Did he 
instantly cut himself where that blood come from. <laughs> the button doesn't change. Oh, there, now it's faster. See? Haha! -ha! No! Shit! Oh, dude, that's mean. There. Okay, it... The options change at the bottom. Quick too, so you have to like pause immediately. All right, uh, present. I almost pushed the wrong button. Ha ha! Gloss. Bring our attention back to the security camera. It's a mistake. I'm afraid you'll soon not forget, Officer Marshall. The days are short in Texas, and so are our tempers. Could you sum up what you have to say in eight words or less? You're going to jail. We're going to jail, you jackass. Perfect. Jackass is one word. You can make it too. Very well. You can clearly be seen in this video. I just got my feedback for my final projects today. Got Harper's. Hell yeah, dude. You gonna celebrate? I'm proud of you. That's awesome. Exactly eight words. Not a bad partner. The key lies in a certain locker shown in the video. Blammo! That locker with the white cloth sticking out. That was the witnesses, I believe. Now then, let's rewind the video a bit. I'll drink some of that finish your workout? Hell yeah, dude. Treat yourself. Oh, the white cloth is gone. What's the meaning of this, Officer Marshall? When the crime took place, the white cloth wasn't there. Then it suddenly appeared. There's only one explanation. Officer Marshall, you were in the evidence room at the time of the crime. What's more, you opened your locker when the camera was turned away. Blam, sucker! Order, order, I didn't get a chance to read that. Hold your horses. Sorry, partner. You got the wrong man. So what if my locker was open? That doesn't mean I'm the one who opened it. It does. Because you got them fingerprints. The murderer needed... Or the murderer needed to hide something, so he opened the locker and stuck it in. It's not my fault he happened to choose mine. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm a wanted man? Because you're an idiot wanted man. This man isn't just playing dumb. He really doesn't know. I hate to rain on your parade. That would have been funny if we used a, a phrase for like how he talks. What's up, Josh? Wild Vasive appears. I've been here this whole time. I think a new Wild Josh appears. Got a finish for you. I appreciate the alert. Have a good one, my dude. Be safe. You're the only person who can open the particular locker. Lady! Oh my gosh, everything's happening. Thank you so much for the raid. How you doing? How's, uh, how's Survivor treating you? You can get butts. You kicking all the butts? I saw it went on sale. And, uh, it had me thinking about picking it up. Thank you so much for the raid. How you doing? What's new? What's cracking? We are, uh, we're temporarily jumping back over to East Attorney so I don't forget where we left off because we haven't played in a few weeks and I need to finish it. <laughs> And uh, we just caught this man in a lie. Well, I guess he doesn't know it was a lie. He, he's just kind of uh, not all. He, he's not thinking about all the evidence. Oh, yeah. I call your bluff. You say I open that locker. Now prove it. Oh, I can prove it. Blam. Fingerprint, sucker. A fingerprint sensor. That's right. We talked about this earlier today. The lockers can only be opened by the detectives they belong to. What kind of crazy talk is this? Well, Detective Gums, you did mention something about this. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. 
There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprint locks. So, Sheriff, what do you have to say? In eight words or less. Is that jerky or are you chewing on some leather? I only got one word for you, partner. Ooh. What was that? Think anything good? I've been beat so much. I have beat so much, but hell yeah, dude. How far do you think you are? Order, order, order. Witness, explain yourself. If this is a joke, it's the worst I've ever heard. I assure you this is no joke, Officer Marshall. Now then, please tell us what you were doing in the evidence room at the time of the crime. Chewing on this bad jerky. Hooray! Please answer the question. <laughs> Judge, don't! What is he now, a bullfighter? That's all right, Officer Marshall. I believe we can figure out the rest from here. We can? Have a look at these floor plans. There, okay, yeah. There's no place for someone to hide in the evidence room. That Officer Meekins didn't see Officer Marshall. If that's so, oh, if that's so, then where was the witness? It seems Mr. Wright has an answer. That's right. There's only one possible conclusion. Well then, let's hear it. You're very close to the end? It's been, you've been pretty happy with it then? Oh shit. What did they ask? Oh. I didn't see what they asked. Officer Marshall was standing. Aha! No way. Oh, I totally understand. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you have a good night. I appreciate you coming on in. You have a good rest of your night. Sleep well. Officer Marshall was standing right here. Hmm. So Officer Meekins didn't notice him standing there? It's almost as credible as Meekins' warp theory. <laughs> The chamber's empty, Varna. Better reload. Okay, so I gotta show where he was hiding. Now they're ganging up on me. Perhaps you should think a little more about the, where Officer Marshall was. Officer, Me er, Officer Meekins should have seen him in the evidence room. That means the only place he could have been would be... Well then, let's hear it. He was the... He was this guy. Officer Marshall is standing right there. There? Is that? That's where the victim, Detective Goodman, was. Uh-uh. Correct. Unless the man wasn't Detective Goodman. I believe the victim in the video is... Video is Officer Marshall. It was, it was you who dressed up like Detective Goodman. Attention. Shush. That per that's preposterous. Officer Meekins witnessed the detective at the crime scene. Have you not noticed he's not very observant? Once he saw the man's face, he'd know for sure. May I point out, though? Oh, that's me. May I point out, though, that Officer Meekins did not know Detective Goodman. He also testified about the man's re reaction. I almost said erection. When confronted. Strap! Holy crap, my dude! I haven't seen you in a while. How you been? The killer was Colonel Mustard in the library with the candlestick. I only have one of those cards. That's a candlestick. Your evidence is insufficient. You wish to put your, your game on the line? I've only played Clue like three times. When I was very young. I think that like if you if you guess wrong, you lose or something, right? Been sick and busy with classes. Ugh. I think I, I was worried I was getting sick this weekend because I was getting all sorts of gunky everywhere. Um, and it persisted through this morning, but like mid afternoon, it started to like clearing up. So I hope I'm not getting sick. How's classes treating you? When I entered the evidence room, I asked him to show his card, sir. Yes, and how does Detective Goodman respond? He suddenly pulled an 
stifled me! Something about the officer's story puzzled me. If the man had his ID card, why didn't you just show it? Yes, you would have needed it to enter the evidence room. So, you must have been carrying it. Your answer is simple. He couldn't show it. Because it didn't match his face. As you can see, Detective Gibbons' picture is on this ID card. Oh, I did it. If he showed that, his cover would have been blown. Officer Meekins would have realized the man wasn't Detective Goodman. Do you have anything to say to this, Officer Marshall? You gonna eat some more? Yeah, he's gonna eat some more jerky. You got quiet, not imagination, partner. You got a term for that. It's called circumstantial evidence. Circumstantial evidence? He's still denying it. Dude, you're in the crossfire, so give it up. You're gonna have to do better than that. That to break a detective. Unless you have hard evidence proving I dressed up as a victim. Hmm. I can say I, I particularly care for your uncooperative. I can't say I particularly care for your uncooperative disposition. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. You said that before. Hey, Mr. Ray, do you have any evidence proving beyond a shadow of a doubt? The officer Marshall dressed up as the victim. Well, who am I kidding? I don't have anything like that. I can see the fear in your eyes, partner. Seems you're the one who couldn't take the desert heat. Ah! This can't be happening. Edgeworth, save me! It's so obvious he's the one. What can I do? <gasps> Is he gonna save me? Hmm. Yeah, we got to sleep with Jada. Is she kicking? No, she's not kicking right now. I was, I was, uh, uploading a VOD. And, uh, as I was skipping through the chapters on youtube i saw one where she was like rocking because she was sleep kicking funny am i allowed to say that i'm passing my classes heck yeah dude proud of you keep it up hmm. it looks like your lack of experience has finally been exposed come on man i'll pass on to you what someone told me when i was just starting out when you've run into a wall with no place to go and return to the basics the basics For me, that would be what Mia used to tell me. Phoenix. Whoa. Phoenix, I think he's outside the box. The box is there for a reason. I feel comfortable in there. I shouldn't look for proof that Officer Marshall was in disguise. But rather, I should look for evidence that came about because he was in disguise. Why do you think this locker was open in the first place? What do you mean? There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open. Oh, the wrong voice. There's no reason for Officer Marshall to open his locker at the time of the crime. Yet he did, despite the chance it might be discovered later, as it has been. Which means he didn't originally plan to open his locker. Ooh. According to the defense's argument, Officer Jake Marshall dressed up as Detective Goodman at the time of the crime. Then, after the crime was committed, he opened his own locker for some unknown reason. Hiding the blood that he got stabbed? From the video? The fact that a white cloth is sticking out of the locker seems to indicate that. He opened it in order to put the cloth inside. So, just what exactly is a piece of cloth? Perhaps... Perhaps the video is the key to our unanswered questions. I don't have any evidence, so this video is my only shot. It's gotta be the bloody coat, right? <laughs> as long as you're doing your best, man. Very well, let's see if you can get another look at the security key. After committing the crime, the witness opened the locker to put away the white cloth. Please show us why the witness had to put this in his locker. I had to open his locker. I got you. He's over there opening the locker. Thing can fall out. Come over here, see Officer Meekins. He's gonna come over here and jump him. And then he's gonna get beat up and then fight. The blood! There's blood. There's blood right here. Blood. For some reason, you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman and enter the evidence room, though I don't know to what end yet. 
Yes. However, something unexpected happened. Officer Meekins barged in on you. When he asked to show your ID, you pulled a knife on him. However, how did you hurt yourself? Officer Meekins panicked. And the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. A bloody white coat? You couldn't just walk out like that. So you hid the coat in your locker. Um, um, um. Not bad, partner. Now then, Officer Marshall. Are you ready to tell us the truth? The whole truth and so help you God? Looks like I underestimated y'all. I hope you're happy now, Mr. Edgeworth. Huh? Two years ago. If you were only half as persistent then as you are today, it all would have... We all wouldn't have had to be here now, now would we? Officer Marshall! Tell the court what you did. All of it. All right. It seems the time has come. Oh my god, he's still here. I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I stole the detective's ID and dressed like him. I planned to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out. He managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on the camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 515. He's fully admitted it. So the supposed victim was really you. But there's one thing I still don't understand. Traces of a large quantity of blood were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Officer Meekins managed to cut his own hand. My guess is he's the donor. <laughs> there was way too much blood for such a small donation. All right, what do we got here? I had to do with that day. I couldn't stand by and let it die. Let what die? When you say it, you mean... Oh, I apologize. You even have to ask, partner? It's online incident. Two years have passed since that case was closed. It was going to be... A con it was going to completely end into the the transfer all that day. Not if I had anything to do with it. That incident's not over. But what did you hope to accomplish by sneaking in the evidence room? When a case is closed, only that case's lead detective can look through the evidence. I wanted to have a look at it myself one more time. No matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says, partner. The case is mine. But Officer Marshall wasn't in charge of that investigation. Why does he care so much about it? That day was my last chance. That's why I... I stole the detective's ID and dressed like him. I planned to take out the evidence. Why did you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman? If I didn't make you look like Goodman was carrying out the evidence transfer, I'd be arrested for stealing evidence, which wouldn't get me anywhere. So you did it to fool the security camera. In the detective's ID card, I stole that the morning of the incident. So that really was good news starting started filling out the lost item report. I returned his ID car. I left it on the floor in the prosecutor's office parking lot. The ID card I found was left there by Officer Marshall. So essentially. Oh god, what'd you What'd you do to my Ah Thanks, Josh, I appreciate you. I've never looked better. So essentially, you managed to succeed, despite your lack of foresight. What do you mean, partner? I mean, the fingerprint to activate the lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can change your fingerprints. Under, no under, under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have been able to open that locker yourself. But he could because... He could because a rubber glove just happened to get stuck in the door. That means Detective Goodman must have opened the locker for Officer, Mar Officer Marshall. I wasn't expecting him. Officer Meekins, I knocked him out. He pulled a knife out, knife on Officer Meekins and tried to drive him off. The 
I should say I was a little surprised. I only planned on being in the evidence room for no more than five minutes. I didn't think anyone would actually come in during that short time. Officer Meekins, certainly is a one of a million type of person. He's always in the bad place at the wrong time, isn't he? He's taking a detective for an intruder and demanding to be shown his ID. I'll have to think a little more about his phrase this year. <laughs> when did Edwards get so much influence? Anyway, I threw myself at, he threw himself at me and I ended up cutting him slightly. I'm sorry I had to turn out that way. With me, with me, with me knocking him out and everything. By the way, what happened to your knife? Oh, you mean this one? That one? I don't know what to say. Hmm. So you knocked out Mr. Meekins out and... and managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on the camera. So you did your research beforehand. Those who go into the desert unprepared don't live long, partner. I didn't think it would make a difference though. Security tape is erased every six hours. If all had gone as planned, no footage would have been left. However, you blooded your coat in the struggle with Officer Meekins. If someone was in, if someone was in his security room when I came out, the jig would have been up. I opened my locker and stashed it in there. What was Officer Meekins doing during that time? Bleeding out? What else? He was sleeping like a baby. So what you're seeing is on that day. There wasn't any murder there, but it's true. If I could see. Oh, I'm sorry. The blood found on those scenes certainly indicates that crime took place. I think I gave myself a voice. Oops. But are you blind? The victim shown on the tape is me, and I'm not dead yet, partner. So you stole the evidence from the locker. Actually, no, I didn't. Why not? When I opened the locker, the evidence was already gone. Red, is your address. Where is that evidence? It's still missing, Your Honor. Well, fucking, that's a turn of events. Detective Goodman's locker was already empty. Someone else stole the evidence. I'm gonna say he was Gant. Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Far away, partner. It's a free country. Just remember, I'm also free to decide whether or not to answer. Why did you do this? Stealing a detective's ID, injuring a police officer. This is no small offense. Ooh, the music change. However, you're an officer yourself. This will have serious consequences. It can't just be forgiven. It can't just be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. Not that salary cuts are ever a valid solution. Is it field trip time? Like I said, this ain't your case. This one is mine. And I'll do anything it takes to get an answer I'm satisfied with. Hmm. Witness has an unusual amount of zeal. Let's hear more. Oh, go back to that music. I just can't forget about the SL9 incident. You know why? But that case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? Yes, yes. That's the reason the evidence, uh, that's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence room. No doc was convicted for his crimes. Ooh, it's always Edward's voice that makes me yawn. One thing I can say for sure is he deserved his sentence. I remember the Joe Dark case. It involved serial murders, didn't it? I don't intend to complain about how it started out, but there's something that still bothers me. Something went down at that trial. Something no one will talk about. What happened? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. Why is he so concerned with that incident? Maybe I should present him with what I think his real reason is. I had a feeling we'd wind up here sooner or later. Everyone involved here is related in this some way to the, that case. I better take another look at the files. I had to do that day. I couldn't just let it stand by and die. I stole the detective's ID, dressed like I'm on plan to take out the evidence. I was inspecting Officer Meekins. I knocked him out. Managed to escape, which I knew would be areas that wouldn't be caught. It wasn't a murder. I can't just forget the incel lines. Oh, shit. Oh, shit.
That button. Um. What's this one? That's the death report. Maybe this? It's like his brother or something. Uh, this. Objection. Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Sounds like you've been si sipping too much cactus juice, partner. Have you guys ever had cactus juice? Is it delicious? I have the SL9 incident file here. The name Marshall is mentioned in here. An list of murder victims. Neil Marshall, are you related to this man? Neil Marshall? Yeah, I'm sure you've heard the name. Two years ago. He received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. Brett, a prosecutor. You must be talking about the King of Prosecutors Award. Now I remember. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled, handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right. He was killed. And the case fell into your hands. Which was his relation to you? He was... Oh, he took off the hat. He was my brother. He was investigating the murders with Sam and Ken, the deputy chief of police. The group of detectives I was part of worked under them. They were desperate to prosecute the killer. Whoa! Joe Dark. My brother fought jo Dark and was killed. That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. It was all we needed. He was arraigned and incarcerated. The case was finally closed. At least, according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. I forgot to do his voice. And that's it. That's your reason for your unseen actions. There's more to my brother's te death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. Well, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the police department on the day of the crime. Nothing. <laughs> that was the last day the SL9 case had, could be reopened. Not satisfied with this resolution, Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence. Disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he entered the evidence room. Officer Meekins confronted him, so he rendered him unconscious and fled. <sighs> A screenshot of Meekins confronting him and doesn't match the video. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. The things that happen by chance never cease to amaze. At exactly the same time, the murder of the prosecutor's office. This fake murder was going on at the police department. Chance? Gotta be more than just that. So if no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime, that means the murderer in the prosecutor's office parking lot was the real one. There you go, Judge. Which in turn means only one person could have committed the crime. Oh, you stop it. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. No! But wait! The verdict wasn't reached in yesterday's trial. Objection. I object to your objection! I object to your objection, objecting my objection. Which is why we examined the incident at the police department today. But... There's only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. 
There yet remain the mystery of the simula simultaneous murder at the police department. It seems to me this boy's got the draw on you, partner. All the mysteries. Oh, wrong boys. All the mysteries at the police department have been resolved, no doubt about it. A sole murder took place at the prosecutor's office. The only suspect is Lana Sky. And the testimony of that ain't Miss Angel Star is completely uncontestable. Incontestable. Do you have a response? Make it just a single word or less. Object! <laughs> That's not a word. Doesn't count. I rest my case. That wasn't a word, it doesn't count. It seems this trial has reached its conclusion. There's no room for doubt. Uh. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time. It's proving the alleged murder of the police department. There's no doubt that I proved today is true. The apparent murder on the security camera's tape really was fake. But I didn't realize that would end up proving Lana guilty. Now then, the time for this verdict has come. This court fires the defendant. Hold it! There it is. Yeah, Emma! Whoa, why are you on the stand? Your Honor! She just ran up and pushed Jake out of the stand. Like, this is my spot now. Your Honor, wait! Emma! The defense has an objection. A scientific objection. You get him. Right. That's my name. What do you mean, right? Mr. Right. Are you this girl's guardian? No. Your Honor, I didn't push anything. Mr. Honor, I'm asking is for a minute of your time. Please hear me out. Mr. Edwards, please. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. Well, how generous of you. Oh, the sad music. I, I was kind of in shock. I mean, finding out this online incident referred to the Joe Dark killings. Now that she mentions it, the names of both Sky's sisters were in that file. That's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day. But I knew his finger bait had nothing to do with the crime. I left only one thing. The other handprint. You mean the traces of blood found on the detective gun shoes locker? But no fingerprints were found on it, right? No. But I figured if I examined it, if I examined it scientifically, I'm sure I'd find a clue. So I ran over there and looked at it again. What? How, how'd you get in there? So did you find something? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how unhelpful, huh? Sorry, I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. What? Why are you taking the stand then? Um, is that all? Please don't be mad, I'm just a high school student. And I'm just an attorney. Oh, Mr. Wright, those traces of blood are the only clue we have. We can't find something wrong with them. Please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If any case, if anyone can save Lana, it's you. Me? Oh, boy. Time's up. Now then, Mr. Wright. With regard to the incident in the police department, has any reasonable doubt... Does any reasonable doubt remain? Um... It appears the defense is troubled by another blood mark. Shut up. Okay. Hopefully this helps explain something. Whew. Looking at the floor plans, a hand handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Mr. Wright, I'm sorry, it can be of more use. But still, if you can't find anything wrong with that blood mark, why don't we? Please answer my question, Mr. Wright. We don't have all day. Yes, Your Honor. If ever I needed to concentrate, it's now. Shit. What could be wrong with the handprint on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Could there be something I'm missing?
The sandprit left at the crime scene clearly shows a contradiction. It doesn't. The only thing that seems clear is you're grasping, Mr. Wright. That's all I got is straws. You've been staring pretty, pretty intently at those floor plans. Tell me, is there a problem with them? Yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is missing. Is there? Missing? It means something hasn't been drawn on there. Yes, something that when drawn will completely change the meaning of the blood mark. It is pretty the defense isn't simply trying to buy time. Very well, Mr. Wright. With all this evidence here, there's got to be something I can use. The question is, which item can prove something is missing in the floor plans? Ah. Something is missing in the floor plans. This wouldn't be part of the floor plans. I need to see the picture of the, the handprint. Do I not have one of those? I thought there was another picture. This maybe? As I say back with. Even a blind man can hit with a buckshot. That is, as long as he's facing in general direction. Okay, he took the sandbag. They're, they're making fun of me because I had nothing to do with it. It seems Mr. Wright's not sure which direction to face. It's no use! The more evidence there is, the greater the chance of me being wrong! Just calm down, Mr. Wright. Try to remember what the evidence room was like on the day of the crime. What is it that bothers me about this blood mark? That's it's the right hand. He's been on me another chance, Your Honor. I'll prove it this time. <laughs> that is crazy defense. is not simply trying to buy time. Question is. Captain, uh... Is there anything on this? Still nine's written on a small tag attached to the knife. It was the weapon used less than two years ago. Has known many victims. left-handed glove. item can prove something is missing in the floor plans it wouldn't be the this goofy thing because that's not a floor plan no what about that piece of plywood blue badger ask it of the police force defender of truth guardian of proof Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. How? That's... That has nothing to do with the floor plan. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Please look at the floor plans of the crime scene. 
Blue Badger is not here. Yeah, it wouldn't be because it's not a floor plan. So, so watch what happens when we put him in. This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. Well, well, what? That's right. So, that's right. So long as the Blue Badger is dancing here, it would, have been, it would be impossible to place a hand burnt on the spot in the locker. That wouldn't be a part of a floor plan, though. That makes no sense. I'm glad I tried that. What? That means... Uh, just exactly what does that mean? It means it can't be done. What are you saying? The trace was undeniably found on that locker. Don't look at me. I didn't put it there. Uh, oh, you guys switched spots? Mr. Wright, they get through a mess scientifically. Come on. On that afternoon, Officer Meekins was the one who brought the blue badger to the evidence room, right? After he put it down, it would be impossible to leave a handprint on that locker. So that must mean this blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in? Yes, it wouldn't will me. I will not allow such far fetched Baldur Dash in my part room. You've done before. It may sound far fetched, Jonah. But it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st in the police department's evidence room. Blood was spilled not once, but twice. B but how? One time was captured on this tape. Taken by the security guard. Their camera. Officer Meekins cut his hand on which a trivial amount of blood fell. The problem is, the other time... Oh, he was actually killed, maybe? Someone bled prior to the struggle shown on this tape. It had to have been. It had to have been Detective Goodman when he was really murdered. Oh my God. So he was actually really murdered there? That's ridiculous. I refuse to accept your absurd claim. The murder portrayed in the security tape is proven to be fake. However, that does not explain the blood mark found in the locker. So then. Assuming this murder, you purp- you purped, you purport. I can't say that word. You purport. Purport. There it is. God. You purport really happened. When did it take place? I demand you show evidence that proves when it occurred. When did the first incident occur? I don't fucking know. You summarize the defense claims that prior to the office, we can observe Megan's being cut by Jake Marshall, who was posing as Detective Goodman. Another incident took place in that evidence room. That's right. The blood mark on the locker proves this. Very well. Then tell us. When did this first incident occur, as Mr. Edgeworth said? Proof must be presented. Proof that shows when the murder took place. There's only one piece of evidence that can show that. Now then, will the defense please present this evidence? After I safe. What shows when the first crime took place? I don't fucking know. Oops, I didn't mean to push that button. I wanted to look at it. Oh shit, that was legit. Oops, my bad. I thought I fucked up. I didn't realize it was legit. Officer Meekins brought the blue badger panel into the evidence room at. Let's see here. Let's see here, 4.50 p.m. If the crime took place before that time, it would be 4.40 p.m. Ah! Miles what have you done? I never would have figured you had that nerve, boy. Drop the act witness. Oh, drop the act witness. It doesn't take a lot of thought to figure out. It couldn't have been me. Hmm. Nope, I ain't getting it. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't understand either. It's clear from 
The luminal test. It's clear from the luminal test that the blood was there. However, when the second crime took place, both Officer Meekins and Officer Marshall failed to notice the blood. That means the blood from the first crime was wiped away. By the real murderer. I would have just had just ten minutes to murder the victim, carry his body away, and clean up the blood. Unfortunately, that's physically impossible. I would mean the crime must have taken place before Mr. Edwards returned to the evidence room. Let's look at the chart again. There's only one other card number remaining. Bunch of sevens. Talk about a lucky number. But wait, that doesn't make sense. How could Detective Goodman have entered the evidence room? Since there's no record of his card being used beforehand, he must have entered along with the real murderer. That's the only plausible explanation. He ran in with seven, 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 seven. Mr. Edwards, please look into this ASAP. Find out whose ID number is seven, 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 seven. That's funny. He just did that. It's one, seven, too many, Your Honor. But that's one, seven, too many, many, Your Honor. Wow. Damn it, was unfortunately, I'm unable to look up the owner of that ID card. At least at present. It's gonna be outside your jurisdiction. What? Explain yourself, son. The ID number belongs to someone with the rank of captain or higher. See? It's damn it. Someone who is is the so-called executive officer. We don't have the authority to inquire such a person's identity. What? That's bullshit. That's ridiculous. Just how? I'm not finished talking, Mr. Wright. There is one situation in which we can be granted such authority. If an official charge against an executive... Executive is accepted. An official charge. You're all alike, aren't you? With your cover-ups and your forgeries. That's how the prosecutor's officer operates. I take pride in my work, Officer Marshall. I would appreciate if you would keep your slander to yourself. Slander, is it? Okay. Let me ask you a question. Yes. No, not you. To her, the defendant sitting over there. Your own little executive. Lana? Don't be stupid. She's been charged with murder. Of course, we've looked up her ID number, and it's not. Oh, lucky seven. Don't play me a fool, partner. That's not what I want to ask. All I want to know is one thing about that incident. It's a nine incident. Answer me this, Chief Prosecutor. In that trial two years ago, did you really only use legitimate evidence? Oh shit, she's on the st the trial, the stand, that's the word. Do you need the witness to repeat this question, Chief Prosecutor? I heard him fine, Miss Redworth. That's the wrong voice. I heard him fine, Miss Redworth. Two years ago? I was in charge of the prosecution for that trial. At the time, we... Occasionally, I felt the powerlessness of the law. At least, I did. L Lana! I became a prosecutor in order to su suppress crime with the law. But before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. Defending! Just what are you saying? You guys can't be switching on the same stand like that. I'll ask you again, Chief Prosecutor. During that trial two years ago, did you really present all the evidence in court? Can you look me in the... Can you look me, an investigator in that crime, in the eye and say that you did? You prosecutor, you didn't. I don't have to, Officer Marshall. Why won't you answer him? Drastic crimes require drastic measures. Oops. Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to, in order for him to get the verdict he deserved. But Lana! Even if, in the ball forging evidence- No! No! Oh, I liked you. See? That's what I'm talking about. No, no. <laughs> Order! 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 Lana's remarks caused such a stir. The cast in the courtroom erupted. 
would have to wait until the following day. Holy shit! Aw, oh, man, she freaking... Hey, cab. God damn it. Evidence forger. Don't like you anymore. I'm so sorry, Mr. Ray. I'm sorry for my wish sister said. Drastic problems require, require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to in order to get him the verdict he deserved. I... I didn't know. I never knew that the SL9 incident was just another name for it. The Joe Dark killings. Sound like everyone's heard about these killings but me. I don't want a dark convicted so badly. That's why she excused me. That's why she used what happened to me. Oh, that's awful. What do you mean, what happened to you? It's all there in the file. The dark's last victim was Prosecutor Neil Marshall. When he murdered Officer Marshall's brother, he left behind an incriminating piece of evidence. But what did you have to do with those killings, Emma? On the night of Prosecutor Neil Marshall was murdered, no dark. Tried to kill me. Fucking goddamn. What? He tried to kill you. Officer Marshall's brother, Neil, was only trying to save me. So that means you. Yes. I was a witness in the Joe Dark trial. I didn't see that one coming. Holy fucking shit! It happened two years ago. I was right about this time of the year, too. There was a terrible thunderstorm that day. Unusual for the season. I was alone in my sister's office. We were planning to eat dinner together when she finished her work. And suddenly, a seraphine man came in bursting into the office. Joe Dark. Oh, he was probably looking for her, huh? Um, her sister, Lana. It seems like he was running from someone. He pulled out a knife and screamed at me. I didn't know what was going on. Just then, Prosecutor Marshall showed up. Gave Marshall's brother. Joe tried to take me hostage. Before he could, Mr. Marshall tackled him. Then... What happened? I'll never forget it. Lightning struck, and the lights went out. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning flashed outside the window, lighting up the office for an instant. Just like a movie. I saw then burn a permanent picture in my mind. I can still see it now. Permanent picture? Ugh. What did you see in the instant that crime occurred? Ugh. Dark knocked down Mr. Marshall and raised his knife. Neil Marshall was stabbed right in front of this poor girl. Oof. I don't remember what happened after that. Apparently, I passed out. When I came to, Lana was cradling me in her arms. Poor Emma. You've been through so much. I, I couldn't bring, bring myself to testify about that instant. I tried, but the words just wouldn't come out. I drew a picture, but it wasn't any good. Two years ago, you must have been 14. That's understandable. Ugh. How traumatizing, dude. Once it was all over, I made up my mind. I decided when I grow up, I'd become a scientific investigator. I want to be able to fight crime with my testimonies and find the evidence I make to make an airtight case. That way, Lana would never have to forge any. I see. I think I'm finally starting to understand what makes Emma tick. There's still something that bothers me about that crime. Didn't she say she doesn't remember? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember the moment when Dark stabbed Mr. Marshall. So you weren't able to testify about that? No. I was only asked about when I was attacked. That must be why Lana. Why she made up the crime. Made it up? You mean provide vote? Or provided bogus evidence? The prosecutor's office wanted the guilty verdict so badly. Lana forged the evidence, and Mr. Edgeworth used it. Edgeworth? 
Yes, I am sure he didn't know anything about it. He couldn't have known he was being given false evidence. Even so, that's when it all started. I mean, it's not Mr. Edwards, I mean, it's all my fault. If I could have just testified properly, none of this would have happened. So it's true, even though he may not have known it. Edwards really was involved in false finding evidence. After that case, and then Lana was never the same. She became cold, like she is today. She must not have been able to face up to what she did, especially not to Emma. Something that's puzzling me, Emma. What is it? You said you were in Lana's office at the time, right? That's right. Why then would a serial killer come running in there? Not only that, but he was being chased by a prosecutor. Oh, there's no mystery there. No dark had been taken for questioning that day. Taken in for questioning? You mean by the police? Of course. This happened at the police department. I tried to run away halfway through the interview. I fled into my sister's office. But why did you run all the way over to your sister's office? Because the detective's offices and the questioning room were right across from the elevator. Across from the elevator? But Lana was a chief prosecutor, wasn't she? No, silly. Didn't I tell you? Two years ago, Lana was a detective. Fucking... No one filling me in with this shit. She was the best in the entire force. What? That's news to me. After the Joe Dark case, he was transferred to the prosecutor's office and made chief prosecutor. Lonnie used to be a detective? I better have another talk with her. Holy fucking shit, dude! Uh... Okay, let's go talk to... Lana. Hey! Detective! Lana! Mr. Wright, it seems I kept causing you trouble. Falsifying evidence. I didn't think you were that type. Criminals don't mind playing foul, why should we? But Lana! If you're wrong, an innocent person might be found guilty. Believe me, I understood the risks. Lana, women told me about you. Oh? About how you were a detective two years ago. And how the SL9 incident was the reason for your transfer to the prosecutor's office. That's right. Could you fill me in on the details, especially about the unusual change in jobs? I suppose you have a right to know, Mr. Wright. Lock it up! A lot of revelations were uncovered at the trial today, not the least of which was the fact that this case is largely connected to another one two years ago. Evidence from that case was stolen as well. If I expected as much. I know how obsessive Officer Marshall would be. That trial, it really wasn't fair, was it? I believed in you, Lana. I believed that no matter what happened, you'd always stick to the truth. It couldn't have been helped, Emma. At that trial two years ago, I sold my soul. Well, all drama aside, the fact of the matter is, at 5.15, there was no murder at the police department. Tell me it's not true, Lana, that the witness Mrs. Starr said. About you stabbing Mr. Goodman with a knife. Lana, I don't understand. Why don't you tell us? Emma, this doesn't involve just me. I don't think I've ever seen Lana look so phased before. It's true. I was a member of the police force two years ago. She was amazing! We still talk about all the cases she and Chief Gant cracked together. Chief Gant? He was the deputy, deputy chief of police back then. But he still worked the crime scenes. Alan Gant. He was everything I aspired to be. They were the biggest team ever. They solved crimes before the reports could ever even be filed. Uh, fucking Emma is... So full of happiness and joy when she talks about her sister. That's why it breaks your heart when she find out her sister is in jail and shit. I just said that. The game paraphrased it better than what I just said. Emma really idolizes her big sister. But now you're chief prosecutor. What happened? I always planned on becoming a prosecutor. The reason I became a detective was... He gained experience at best in crime scenes, so he could use that experience in court, right? Gant's help on the SL9 case was crucial to its first resolution. After that, he became chief of police and arranged my transfer to the prosecutor's office. 
Maybe I should ask more about this investigation of theirs just two years ago. Yep, yep. Two years ago, I was second in command of the detectives investigating Dark. Second in command? That means the investigation lead was Damon Gant? Yes. Deputy Chief Gant and I shared the same office in the same investigations. They even had the same office. We led a team of the best detectives on the force. Detective Goodman, whose case it was, Jake Marshall and Angel Star. It was the first time Marshall worked with his brother. He was quite gung-ho. Without a doubt, Joe Dark was the serial killer. They asked him to come in for questioning. They were desperate for evidence. But that was when his final murder took place. And he tried to murder Emma. Prosecutor Marshall was trying to save me from Dark. You see, the first person who happened upon the scene of the crime was me. Now you tell us. Adam Gant and Neil Marshall were the ones questioning Dark that day. The investigation was in its final stages and Dark must have suddenly panicked. So he wanted and waited until Gant and Marshall let their guards down, then fled the room. Aren't those rooms, like, locked or something? From there, he ran straight to the office shared by Deputy Chief Gant and myself. That's where he found me! So... So you were the first person to run to the scene, Lana? It appears so. I was filing some papers while Gant and Marshall were questioning Dark. Oof. When I returned to my office, I saw the three bodies on the floor and smelled blood. Three bodies. Prosecutor Marshall, the victim, Emma, who had passed out. And the suspect, Joe Dark. During the struggle, it seemed that Mr. Marshall struck a final struck a final blow before he died. Joe Dark had incurred a minor concussion and lay unconscious. What did you do? To be honest, I panicked. I picked up Emma, carried her out of the room, and just held her. Can't blame her after all her sister must have gone through. After that, I placed Drake under immediate arrest. Let me get this straight. You were all involved in the SL9 incident? That's right. Quite a coincidence, eh? I don't buy it. What are you saying? There's no way everyone... There's no way everyone involved in this trial was also involved in that incident. Just by chance. But that case was solved two years ago. At least one person went to extremes because they didn't believe it was truly solved. Officer Marshall. Yes, his actions came as a surprise to me as well. Ever since his brother died, he's changed completely. I guess he wasn't convinced with the ruling against Show Dark. Life doesn't end with the closing of a case. Everyone has to live the rest of their lives with their memories. That case just might not be over yet. Emma was assaulted by Dark at the police department, right? Yes, in the office of the Dam and Gant in the office that Dam and Gant and I shared. The office that Dam and Gant now occupies by himself, the chief's office. See? He's sus. Maybe we should have a look at the chief's office. This the site is the final SO9 murder. Yep. Later, Lana. Uh. I wouldn't be here. Shit. I don't see Detective Gumshoe anywhere. Things seem kind of quiet around here today. You're right. Chief of Detectives seems the same, though. Why don't we go look for some other people to talk to? All right, we can come back here later. Oh, that was weird. It took us right to the, the police department without having to go to the entrance. Wait, aren't you fucking... How'd you get out? Howdy, Bambina. Oh, Mr. Marshall. I never thought things would turn out this way when I woke up this morning. Hey, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> you never know where life leads you, eh, Bambina? I should have known my luck had run out when old Billy dried up this morning. Billy? Yeah. Billy? Must be his pet tact his pet cactus. Say, where are you headed? Just over to the prosecutor's office for a little interrogation. It's a voluntary appearance. 
But we all know why I won't be coming back. Sorry, but you can't go in the evidence room today, partner. But Mr. Marshall, why'd you do it? Why do prosecutors head west? If ever there was a case I needed to know the truth about, it was that one. Before you turn yourself in, Mr. Marshall, would you mind telling us exactly what happened? Hmm. Looks like I won't be getting the steak lunch today. Okay. Something was fishy about the trial from the beginning. It wasn't just me either. All detectives also. What do you mean, fishy? Some of the facts reported were inconsistent with the evidence we found. For example, murder weapon. Murder weapon? You mean the switchblade knife with the broken tip? That was Joe Dark's, all right. But in the initial autopsy report, a question was raised. Question? The blade of the knife was not a perfect match for the wound the victim sustained. What's that mean? It means there's a good chance the knife was not the murder weapon. However, in the report that was finally submitted, that possibility had been erased. Could the facts have been concealed with forged evidence? That case left behind scars on all of us. The scars that SL9 incident left behind. There was something going on behind the scenes in that case. We all knew that later. Every detective involved in the investigation, save one, was taken care of. A star was fired and I was demoted and boxed away in a tiny room. What about Detective Goodman? If they did something to him too, the commi commissioners would get suspicious. No, they were careful enough not to be obvious. They? What are you talking about? Don't get upset, Bambina. I mean, Damon Gant is on a sky. The investigation led lead Damon Gant is second in command, on a sky. There wasn't a person on the force that hadn't heard, that heard of the duel. That case was the biggest step in both their careers. After the case ended, the Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office, right? Oh, wait. That was, uh, someone else. Yeah, Damon Gant, the new chief of police, arranged for that to happen. She's never been the same since she left. Everyone who knew her said so. Chief Prosecutor Sky was totally different when she was a detective. Now that he mentions it, Emma said something like that, too. Tell me, what happened to my sister? Sorry, Bambina, but her secret is too well guarded. I never found out. Lana's secret. It all started two years ago. Alright, tell me about your bro. I got the looks, but he got the brains. He was one of the best prosecutors around. I just made detective when it went down. It was our first case together. How old was he? Your brother? He was 27 at the time. He was awarded the highest honor the very day. The highest honor? You mean the... Yeah, that horrible thing? King of Prosecutor. Er, King of Prosecutors. I knew it. What are you looking at me like that for? That's an honor for a prosecutor. Is that how he killed him? Because doesn't it have like a blood stain on it or something? Mr. Marshall must have really been close with his brother. The day the SL9 incident took place, that wasn't the same day as... That's right. It was the day of the evidence transfer. Interesting. It was drizzling that morning, and by nightfall there was thunder. I can't believe two years have gone by already. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. Apparently someone tried to stop you. Detective Goodman was murdered, and the evidence locker was empty. So there you have it. That's my story. Did you enjoy it, partner? It's certainly enlightening. There's one thing for sure. That boy Edgeworth isn't my enemy. He was the one who used falsified evidence to get a guilty verdict. And someone else was the one who gave him that evidence and planned everything. That someone is Damon Gant. Don't believe me? Well, I don't blame you. I won't even be a patrolman after today. Too bad I won't be around to work with you. When you become a real scientific investigator. Adios, Bambina. Okay.
This is always busy. Today it's pretty deserted. That must mean everyone's busy filming Grimes. Oh, I'm glad I didn't speed through this. Oh, if you're looking for others, they're all in the other conference room. Uh, thanks. Well, he actually talked to us. But the chief prosecutor's saying that she did. The chief prosecutor's saying what she did and the decision about what to do. But Mr. Edgeworth, not to mention our statement to the media in tomorrow's trial. There's more chaos going on than Thanksgiving and Christmas put together. I think festive is the word usually used for those. Um, sir. I'd like to have a look around Chief Kant's office. Just use the connecting hallways in the other building and take the elevator up to the top floor. Really? You mean it's okay for us to go in there? I mean, we aren't police officers or anything. Shh. Hey, you're right. You can't go in there. It's off limits. God damn it, Emma. Now I see where Detective Gumshoe gets his unique charm. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head to the chief's office. Got it. He's got a fucking organ in his office? Whoa, where am I? In the chief's office, silly. At least that's what it said on the door. Check out that pipe organ. That's real, isn't it? Hey, I used to take organ lessons in kindergarten. They used to call me a little bit Miss Buck. <laughs> Did they really? I thought I was a genius until they tried teaching me notes. No, 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 no. Never could remember where she was. Hmm. Huh. Ah, it's you. I don't remember his voice. Ah, it's you too. Chief Kent. He put that paper he was reading in his desk. How did we not see him? Ah, so right -o. Have you been swimming lately? Is he threatening me he's gonna drown me? Uh, no, I haven't. I've been kind of busy lately. I can appreciate that. I've had my hands full too with Mr. Marshall's misconduct. And not as provocative statement. Provocative statement? Oh, you mean about the forged evidence? Two years have passed since that incident. I am time flies. See that big picture over there on the wall? There's that jar! Who's the fucking paladin? There's a fucking Templar knight over there. Oh, I missed my finger slipped. Or spazzed. Twitched. There's the word. I can't think of the word. Uh, so this is where Mr. Marshall's brother, Prosecutor Neil. So this is Mr. Marshall's brother, Prosecutor Neil Marshall. We get to, we took it to commemorate our work together. And why is that person cut out? Very strange. Something's not right with this picture. Can't quite seem to put my finger on it though. Gantt team picture added to the court record. Who's the fucking Templar? Even his tie is like a Templar. Anyway, I'd like to reminisce all day, but there are matters that need my attention. I'm going to log up here, so let's go out together. Of course. Oh, uh, at this office, there was a crime scene two years ago, wasn't it? That case has long since been over. There's no need to investigate it any further. Of course there isn't. Because you're involved. Oh, there's his statue. Interesting. All the same, we'd like to have a look around. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said there's no need to investigate it any further. Does he even get his threatening face at us? Now hurry up and get out. I have a meeting to attend. Looks like we aren't welcome. It seems that case isn't over with just yet. What do you mean? Chief Gant denied our request to search the crime scene. That means, must mean there must be reason he doesn't want us looking around in there. I mean, like a clue? Oh. You mean like a clue? Sorry, I didn't push the button. There's got to be a way we can get inside the chief's office. Breaking and entering right into the police station. That's brilliant. Here today, not even Miss Star. Never 
someone's probably busy looking into what happened down in the evidence room. That must be where the detectives are. We were proved in court today that on the day of the crime, no one was murdered in the evidence room at 5.15 p.m. Yeah, I thought we were finally making some headway in our case. Instead, it looks like we just ended up making Lana look even more guilty. Hang in there, Lana. I've got to find all the answers by tomorrow. Okay. Mr. Edgeworthers in here. Oops. Mr. Edgeworthers in here. Maybe he's being questioned by an inquiry committee. He took a real beating in court today. Yeah, with Lana admitting to falsifying evidence two years ago. I guess we'll just have to. I guess we'll just have to come back later. Shit. What's up, lemonade prince? How's the lemonade treating you? Good to see you again. Welcome back. We're uh. Making our way through this nightmarish hell. Maybe we'll go talk to her again. Nothing. Um, actually, you know what? Tell us about this. Attorneys and prosecutors have no business showing evidence outside court. It's taboo, especially when the interests of both parties are involved. She really means it. Okay, but you don't know this is evidence. Tell me about this jock. Fuck. <sighs> okay. Um. Is Gumshoe back? Ah, there he is. We found him. Oh, Edit down YouTube videos. Dude. Editing is... A, n a whole nother level of pain and agony. I totally understand. What's up, Lonnie? Get yeah, mom cookies. Hey, mom cookies, wake up. Boop, boop, boop. You want a cookie? Oh, okay for you. Say take a photo cookie. Did you drop it? You dropped it. Yeah, uh, I, I think I did uh, editing for three months of my VODs, and it was exhausting. It cost... It took way too much time. And I was like, man, if I want to do this, I have to pay someone to do it, and I'd want to pay them well. But I can't afford to do that. <laughs> so I was like, screw it. I'll just throw up the VODs, and I'll make clips and shorts of interesting things. But, ooh, ooh. But that's the thing. is like, if you want to try to actually grow on YouTube and stuff, you need to edit. You can't just throw up VODs. So I understand, my dude. I feel your pain. 96.5 on your final. Is that your, um, your code final? The game? Hell yeah, dude. I knew you'd do it. See, you were all worried. I told you. I believed in you. I'm proud of you. Well done. Very well done, dude. That, that's great for the first time programming, too. 96.5. Well done. What's happening in the game? Uh, we just found out that the the case we're working on now is related to a case from like two years ago and we're trying to find some evidence i'm um, linking them and if we think that guy with the pink hair uh is definitely the culprit although i've suspected him for a while because he's just he's just too weird hey pal detective gumshoe aren't you supposed to be in the meeting hi mara just taking a breather my feet hurt Oh, you can sit in there. I'm sitting so long. Actually, I'm serving everyone coffee. Oh, poor Gumshoe, dude. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe's still out of the loop. Say, have either of you seen Mr. Edgeworth? Edgeworth? Oh, why do you ask? He's under fire from both the police department and the prosecutor's office. It's almost like the battles between you two in court. It sounds serious. Is it because of what my sister said? That's basically what it all boils down to. That falsified evidence two years ago. Now Mr. Edgeworth has the whole world after his blood. His blood! Thanks! Alright, let's talk to our man here. Why would Edgeworth be blamed? It's not like he knew evidence was forged. Lana Sky is the guilty party here, isn't she? Regardless! 
prosecutor is responsible for the evidence they present in court. Not only that. But as you know, there's been a lot of rumors going around about Mr. Edgeworth. His main talent as the prosecutor's kept him safe from all those who don't like him. Now, with this. Are there really so many people who hate him? Not our world, only those with talent rise at the top. Mr. Edgeworth is not only has that. But he's young. Full of charisma. Got a smoking hot bottom. There's no better recipe I know for making enemies. Oh. This is another no, policeman. Hey, Dick, keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Let's go out for lunch again sometime. Bad treat. Oh. I thought that was uh, Gumshoe saying that. Yes, sir. You gotta take me back to the joint sometime, okay, Dick? Yes, sir. Seems you don't have any problems with enemies. Yeah, well, I'm careful not to stick out. Anyway, I'm a bit worried about it. Under all this pressure, I'm afraid Mr. Edgeworth will just might crack. Fun <laughs> fact, I was using a pawn hireling in his name and design was patches. No. -uh. uh, is this Dragon's Dogma, Josh? His name was Patches. He's jumping over across all the, the universe. I was reading your message. Uh, was that in Dragon's Dogma? It was mid combat. That's amazing. <laughs> That's great. I was talking with a somewhat related. I was talking with some people on Facebook today. Um, about Sekiro and like I, I think about that game all the time and I keep wanting to go back and try it again but it, I was just like there's so much waiting to do anything in that game and so I was talking to some people trying to get some explanation and of course some people just think I'm just trying to shit on the game and I'm not and I'm like I'm literally trying to say what am I missing here because I I believe this game would be excellent I just don't I'm missing something I don't understand what I'm doing wrong or not playing right because nothing's happening like their, their posture bar doesn't change whatever so but after talking with a bunch of people um they might have convinced me to give it another shot and the reason why i thought about that is because i was thinking about bloodborne again and so you made me think about all that with patches and uh people were mentioning um trying out lies of p to understand like it's they said the parry mechanic is a little bit better than Sekiro and it will help like you understand it, I guess, but you hate parrying. Yeah, see, like that's kind of where I was standing. Like, I don't mind parrying, but it's the entire thing of like, I have to sit there and wait 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 and just co in constant parry and block until I can actually finally do something. But then everyone was saying, it's like, no, you're actually meant to be relentless and always hitting them. I'm like, that makes no sense to me because one, their life bar doesn't even move. And they're like, no, because it's chipping right at their posture damage. But it's, it's a chip. It's so tiny. It feels insignificant, like I'm doing it wrong. And they're like, no, the game wants you to be hyper aggressive and always hitting them until they start hitting you and then you need to start deflecting. And so like, after having that explained to me, I might, might try it again. But if it's literally just feels like what I remember experiencing the first time where it's like, I'm waiting for this person to hit me constantly. And it's too much waiting. It was driving me nuts. The entirety of Sekiro is pairing. Yes. One time, one giant quick time event action. Yeah. It, like if one person was saying like once you fit, once it finally clicks in your brain, it actually feels more like a, a dance dance revolution kind of game, which made me laugh. But I was the same way. It's like I'm a like and when someone says it wants you to be hyper aggressive, it's like, bro, that's all I do. I don't know defensive. I don't play Dark Souls with a shield. <laughs> I don't play Soulsborn with shields. I'm only aggressive. So I, I don't know what you're trying to tell me that I'm doing wrong, but I guarantee you. I did not play defensively. I don't play defensive. Um, but so other people actually came in and explained better. It's like, no, it, it wants you to be hitting them. 
even with your dink damage. And I was like, that just sounds weird. Because everything in the game was that was telling me was telling me don't do that because it's like you're just doing insignificant damage. Well, you're trying to break their posture. Yeah, but it's barely moving. So that's also telling me I'm doing something wrong. And then it's like, because then when you parry them and stuff, this is side tangent, then the posture goes down significantly. It's like, oh, that's what you're supposed to do. So it makes you, you're led to believe that just doing that chip damage of the posture isn't even worth it. Right? Anyway, that's my my mini rant on Sekiro. I might give it a try again in the future because it looks really cool and it's definitely my style of like in terms of like Soulsborne. And it's like, I love parry characters in like fighting games and stuff, but oh, if I have to sit there and white, watch a boss just like walk around me for 20 seconds waiting for him to attack me, fuck off. No. Actually, I took a look at the file earlier while the coffee was brewing. He seems genuinely concerned for Edgeworth. Well, did you find anything? The only evidence Dark left behind was during his final attack. His final attack? I mean, when he killed Prosecutor Marshall, who was trying to protect some girl. It's Emma. Me. It seems Detective Gumshoe never realized Emma was the girl. That's when he left the most incriminating evidence of all. Oh, this is going to be planted evidence, isn't it? Well, what was it? Uh, let's see. Uh, I think it had something to do with the murder weapon. Oh, I forgot. Look, it's all written somewhere in here. Okay. The power of recollection never fails to impress. Maybe we should show him the murder weapon. It might jog his memory. Got it. Uh, we'll do that after this, though. Joe Dark was 42 at the time of the crime. It was just a, your run of the rail businessman. Businessman? What made him take up a serial killing? One day on his way home from work, he hit someone with his car. That doesn't sound like it. <laughs> like, he had an accident and he realized his true calling? With his car? It was an accident? An accident, yes! It transformed him into an animal. I was making a joke, Gumshoe. Uh, an animal? He killed a man that witnessed the accident. Then he killed a lady who saw the second accident. And kid walked by just then. Killed him too. And when this body started piling up, a jogger came upon the scene and was killed as well. Finally, he turned himself in. What? He was a pretty careless animal. Of course, this is all conjecture. There wasn't a single shred of evidence. What the? So he turned himself in. Yes, but in the middle of his questioning, he fled and murdered his final victim. Prosecutor Marshall. A crime was witnessed by someone too, but luckily Dark was arrested on the spot. It's a good thing that last witness wasn't killed. The last witness, aka Emma. Okay. Uh, I got something to show you, Mr. Gumshoe. About this. Hey! Is that? It has the tag attached to it with the label SL9 incident on it. I believe this would be the broken murder weapon you were speaking of. What are you doing with that? Ever since that case was closed, the knife's been locked away in a locker. <sighs> on that day, Detective Goodman was murdered. It suddenly disappeared from the locker. It was found in Mr. Edwards' car muffler. That's it! Now I remember what the incriminating piece of evidence was. He showed me that knife, it all came back to me. Well, what is it, Detective? Quick, before you forget again. <laughs> Ooh. Ah, shit, you're supposed to tell me. Wait, maybe he's got a... There we go. What's up, Kira? How's the lawyering? We're trying our best. Dogma is Skyrim, Monster Hunter, plus Elden Ring. Oh, you might have lost me. You named two games that are not my style. <laughs> But all three of those games are definitely up your alley. Are you having fun with it? This knife, it was Joe Dark's, wasn't it? I don't remember. That's right. 
I'll trace it back to the store you bought it at. Plus, it had his fingerprints on it, too. But no one actually witnessed him using it to fire anyone, right? That's where his look right now. When you take a good look at the knife, you'll see it's broken. You don't have to take a good look to notice that. Yeah, well, anyway. Take a guess where the broken off the tip... The broken off tip of the knife was found. That's what did him in. Where was it? Was I giving him a goofy voice this whole time on accident? The victim! Neil Marshall was carrying it inside his own body. It was found deep inside the stab wound. Did it match Dark's knife? You bet! Down to the last fiber. That's pretty inclusive. Stab him in the back, died from puncture heart and lung. Knife tip was in the wound. Neil's autopsy report is added to the court record. Switch really knife updated. Okay. Broken tip was found in the victim's body belonging to the murdered Joe Dart. Well, there you have it in a nutshell. That's all I know. Can I ask you one more thing? What is it? If it's money you need, you should ask Chief Grant. It's not money, but it does concern the Chief. His office is a crime scene, right? Sir Prosecutor Neil was Marshall's murdered. The Chief's on now and his office is locked. But we'd like to have a look around if that's okay. Well... Any detective's ID card can lock the door. What? Really? But if I let a civilian in there, i will be charged with breach of trust. Aw, oh, man. Oh, I don't want to put Gumshoe in a bad spot. Breach of trust. Simply put, I'd be canned. Oh. Sorry, pal. I don't plan on getting fired because of you. How about this ID card? Oh, shit. Emma! With this wrinkly brain. How about this ID card? It's Detective Goodman's. Except that you brought it up in front of another policeman. Shh. That won't work either. Never mind. The dad was deleted the day he died. Oh. Good try. So in other words, Gumshoe is our only chance of getting into the office. I wonder if there's something we could show him that would make him change his mind. Uh, a picture? Hey, check out this picture. Let me share a little piece of advice with you as a detective. If you don't have a clue, keep up, keep your trap shut. I'll, uh, keep that in mind. Fish! Okay, uh... I've been starting up on those files. There's nothing wrong with Mr. Edgeworth's presentation. I think people are accusing him of injustice. I, for one, ain't buying it, pal. You looking into the case for Mr. Edgeways? Yeah, it was a pretty big deal while it was going on, you know. After all, the serial killer was on the loose. Lana was pretty clear in her confession. She forged evidence in order to prove Jack Joe Dark guilty. Fuck! Uh, this. That's in the picture. About that jar. I think I've seen it somewhere before. Somewhere? Or maybe it's one of those memories people have from previous lives. This must be the most uninformative detective I've ever met. Something about it makes me feel uneasy. It's like I'm in the chief's office and he's yelling at me. Chief can't? I could have seen that before. The fucking picture, bro! Oh, come on! I can't show them together? Dude. Oh, dude! Wait, maybe... Shit. You're addicted to the most fun you've had in ages? Hell yeah, dude. That makes me happy for you. Hey, that's it! Really? That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth was caught the other day. Were you at the award ceremony, ceremony Detective Gumshoe? Of course, pal! I got an award for diligence myself! Uh, congratulations. I was wondering why is the ward a shield? And why is it broken? Ah, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. 
Apparently he's forgotten. Fuck! Hey, is that? Is the tag hit? Yeah, we already did this one. Yeah, we did that. Fuck. Why isn't this working, dude? It's literally right there. Oh. Did I do this before? Hey, look, they're dark. They're hard to make out, but there are some dark red stains here. Hmm. Looks like blood. I think Detective Goodman's blood somehow got on here when he was stabbed. Not likely. This blood looks like it's been here for months, maybe longer. The star was evidence in SL9 incident. That might be when the blood got on it. Can we use the, the blood duster? How do I use it again? How is this not working? Fuck, dude. Thing. She's... Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, maybe we can have... I'm gonna tell me something. She doesn't even have that option. See this? I've noticed that defense attorneys have a tendency to want to show people things. What is this, a behavioral study of lawyers? Okay, that didn't help. Um, how about... I wonder if Edward was back yet. Oh, sick. Cool. We just had to trigger some things in a row. There he is. It looks like he's writing something. God, dude. Chill out. What are you doing here? I'm sure it's quick to throw that paper on the floor. Are you sure it's quick to throw that paper on the floor? He's looking at porno. He's drawing, he's drawing fantasy pornos of me and him together. Tough day in court, huh? I've had to live the past two years with rumors flying around. That's another allegation to me. Sure, Mr. Edgeworth, I'm rooting for you. That's Edgeworth for you. Always trying to hide his real feelings. So what do you want? Like some people I don't have at all, all, all day. Okay. Um. Tell me about your forged evidence. There's no excuse for what I've done. Two years ago, I used false evidence to obtain a guilty verdict. That's about all it is down to, and nothing I can erase the fact. But you didn't know, did you? I mean, that the evidence was falsified. The police department and the prosecutor's office share a bond of trust. If that bond is broken, we stand to lose everything. The police department's error is my error. My responsibility, it mind my responsibility as the prosecutor in charge. That fact remains the same no matter what excuse they might have. Mr. Edwards. I take pride in my work. 
So tell me why. Why has it all come to this? Even Edgeworth can't keep this kind of emotion bottled up. I want to know about the day of this crime. Could you tell us again about what happened that day? The day Detective Goodman was murdered? You were participating in a ceremony over at the station, right? I never cared for some ceremonies, but I had to attend that one. Because you were awarded this? Those receiving awards can't exactly skip out of the ceremony. I finished up at the office in the morning and drove over at the police department. You finished up at the office? Yes. You see that big bottle of lotion over there? Finish up every morning. Directly at 9.02 in the morning, right after my first espresso shot. Yes, just odds and ends. Clerical stuff. I didn't plan on returning to the office that day. That is, until I was asked to take something back. Take something back? This. Oh yeah, Chip Cat asked you to hold on to that, didn't he? Yes. Yes. It was a piece of evidence in the case that was closed half a year ago. He asked me to bring you back to the prosecutor's office. That's the story we heard yesterday. So you came back here to the prosecutor's office because his chief asked you to? That's right. Hmm. Are you up for the trial tomorrow? Hmm. First last year's trial. And now this one. It seems all you do is worry about me. To be honest, you're getting on my nerves. The nerves on the tip of my... Never mind, I'm not finishing that. Mr. Edgeworth, you can't just walk around, walk out of the trial. Tomorrow's the last day. It's too late to change prosecutors. I'll bet that's what my superiors are banking on. I never thought that case would come back to haunt me like this. What do you mean? A list of evidence. It seems too short. Most lists run twice as long. It's only half as long as most lists? That's odd. After Neil Marshall was murdered, I became prosecutor for the case. I mean, now I've been part of the investigation, but I knew what I had to do. Use the evidence I was given to prove this suspect guilty. That was really the only thing on my mind at the time. See, we were just... We just saw a picture taken around that time. That picture, something seems strange about it. Oh, picture time! This thing! This picture was hanging on the wall in the Chief Gant's office. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He had just started making a name for himself. Looks like this was taken when he received the King of Prosecutors trophy. Speaking of that, there's something that bothers me. Yes? The trophy that Mr. Marshall is holding. It's a little different than yours. Yes, you're right. Oh, I remember now. Remember what? That was what the official prosecutor's trophy looked like until two years ago. There's a story behind this design. A story? I love stories! Sounds interesting. Would you mind telling it to us? It's simple, really? Contradiction. I didn't mean to push that. Contradiction. That's what the award's based on. That didn't fucking help! the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. Why not? It sounds great. Pass on the tea, just tell me about the case. Ah! Jeez, Emma. Mr. White, Mr. Edwards just told you no in a very stylish manner. <laughs> a stylish manner. <laughs> Whose side are you on, anyways? Maybe I just show him my best evidence I can get some reaction out of him. Get him a- get a, a, an erection out of him. Can I talk about that photo? Ha! The word or originates from an ancient Chinese tale. In Chinese, the word contradiction is written with two characters. The first meaning means halberd, and the second means shield. Have you heard this story? Me? Uh, sure. Everyone knows that. Why don't you tell us me, though, for Emma's sake? <laughs> Very well. Isn't that the thing that like, they bring up in Ar Archer? Or, like, in Chinese, the word for adversity and... or hardship and... Triumph is the same or something. It's something like that. I find something. Oh, I just saw your message here. Thank you. Very well. Oh.
Long ago in the kingdom of Chu, there was an arms merchant. One day he presented the king with two items. The first was a halberd he claimed could slice through any shield or armor. The second was a shield he claimed could withstand any weapon. Hmm. Wait a minute. Ha! <laughs> Those claims contradict each other. Very perceptive. But then again, you've heard the story before, right? Anyway, as you mentioned, the very descriptions of these items discredited, discredited them both. When the king pointed this out, the merchant was left speechless. And thus, the Chinese word for contradiction was born. Is that true? Oh, I see. What the chipped shield and the broken knife symbolize? Precisely. But they symbolize the merchant's items. The ancient tale ends with the merchant at a loss for words. But it's in our nature to pursue matters to their conclusion. Even if it results in something as ugly as this. Ah, oh, thanks, Mr. Edgeworth. I learned something new today. That's funny. If that's so, then why were you only given a shield? <gasps> the knife on the shield was used as a murder, wasn't it? We'll have to ask Chief Grant. Again, two years ago, he had the halberd part of the outward abolished. See? He used it. Yep. I guarantee that's the murder weapon. Chief Gant. King of Prosecutor's Trophy got to the court record. Two years ago, the halberd was removed. Yep. I think we figured it out. Oh god, someone's here. Excuse me! Oh, it's you. Excuse me. Would either of you care for a quarter pound of roast beef? Absolutely, give it up. A star! I guess she's out of lunches. Is that not a lunch? You certainly are the curious sort, aren't you? Kind of like the first person who sucked a cow's nipple to discover milk. Oh, that was a weird way to put it. Still, I never thought you'd come. You'd go digging up that case from two years ago. Everyone in this trial was involved in the SL9 incident. Not only that, but the murder occurred on the very day of the evidence from the case. It was due for transferal. This can't be attributed to mere coincidence. Aren't you forgetting something? You know that little scene of happened to witness? The instant Lana stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. No matter how much of the past you dig up, it won't change what I saw. Most beef is meant to be savored when eaten. It's Star's hatred toward Lana. It all dates back to two years ago. Go dark. That's a name I'll not soon forget. Lonnie, I was waiting for someone to make that. <laughs> we trailed him for half a year. Oh, was pressure. I don't think I was ever more alive when I was then. Those days were steamier than a bowl of hot gravy. Royal Jake Marshall, though, must have been going through hell. You mean because of his brother's death? They were close, those two. After Neil died, something took over Jake. He became obsessed. Seeing Jake like that made all the more desperate. Made her all the more desperate. Her? Were they in an item? On a sky. My sister! The best of the best were put on the SL9 case. Of course, they were led by the legendary duo. Anna and Chief Kant. Gammon Gant and Lana Sky. Gant led the investigation. With Lana's second in command, they were the best. They solved all kinds of cases together, didn't they? Gammon Gates' magnetism in particular was almost unreal. His magnetism? Yes, he has a superpower. By that I mean his ability to attract evidence. He's produced the most incredible evidence in the cases he did hand out. Incredible evidence? Oh, incredible evidence, you mean? Oh yes. There were rumors about him even back then. No one dared confront him though. I take it you talk about forged evidence. Back then everyone looked up to Lana. All the detectives wanted to be like her. Oh yes, myself included. I was a fool, really. She did anything for good and always watched out for the other detectives. That's why she was so concerned for Jake. Miss Marshall, Mr. Marshall. When Jake's brother was murdered, she felt as if she had lost her own brother. If it wasn't for her, 
I don't think Jake would have ever recovered from his shock. That's what makes it all the more infuriating. A star. That's why I'll never be able to forgive her. Why did she have to turn so cold after that? Ooh. That legendary pair was the reason we were able to keep up our investigation. That's why we were so shocked at over how it turned out. You mean when the forging the evidence? Don't get me wrong. Your dark got what he deserved. Still, it was obvious the evidence produced in court was being manipulated. Items our team never found would suddenly appear, while others were kept secret. But you don't have proof anything illegal was done. I'm proof enough of what happened. After the case, all of us save Goodman were relieved of our duties. Almost without even so much as an explanation. And then the sky transferred to the prosecutor's office and became chief prosecutor. I always wanted to be a prosecutor. Nothing's quite as simple as it appears. Huh? Honest guy was merely being used as a pawn. That's my take on the matter. She was being used? Lana transferred to the prosecutor. Or Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office two years ago, didn't she? Yes. Thanks to Chief Gan's powerful. I didn't even process that next word. Chief. That's right. Having solved the SL9 case, his position as chief was secured. There was only one thing left for him to control, and then no one could stand in his way. <clears throat> Prosecutor's office. What? You mean that's why Lana was transferred? If he can control the chief prosecutor, he can control the prosecutor's office. That must have been his goal all along. But, but how can he control Lana? I don't know, but one thing's for sure. Ever since that case ended, she's never been the same. It's only logical to conclude. There must have been a reason for her to change. At last! I'm finally getting close to the bottom of this ugly mess. Thank you, Miss Star. Thank you. You listen to me, Rookie. It looks more just... It takes more than just ingredients to create fine cuisine. I hope you turn out to be a better chef than I've been. Than I've been. I'll lead you up. Don't you worry. Got nothing. Oh, you're back. You're still here? I gotta make 150 copies of these files. Turn coffee, copying files. I'm turning into a regular DJ. DJ? You're a DJ as well? If I'm not mistaken, I think he means desk jockey. <laughs> oh, that DJ! <laughs> that was good. I gotta admire your persistency, but my answer's still no. I'm not letting you in the chief's office, period. Be my neck on the line. That office is the last crime scene in the SL9 incident. I have to take a look in there. There's gotta be something we can do to make Detective change his mind. I didn't get anything else. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. See, he responds to that picture. And this. Oh, oh, we just hit a thing. She brought up what it's designed on and based on a Chinese story. Oh yeah, everyone knows that. Where's this uh, uh, dragon? Yeah, that's it, a dragon. And a thing for shields, she, uh, that's not exactly the version we heard. Sounds more exciting. <laughs> anyway, it gets kind of gory after that. I'll spare, spare you the details. Fuck. Ah. False.
What if I show her... Balls! Oops. I have anything else to tell me? The only thing that I can give you now is a poppy seed rice set. Hell yeah! Whatever, this sounds just just talk about cheese. Eat this and maybe you'll be able to come, come black from white in court tomorrow. Fuck. Balls! You know, it wouldn't hurt if you put this somewhere up, like on a shelf. That has no meaning for me anymore. What do you mean, anymore? That's who I was last year. It was good. But what good is it to dwell in the past? He's asking me? Or he's asking me? Oh, why can't he just accept it graciously? Actually, something's been troubling about this shield. Look, you notice anything different? Different? Yeah, don't you remember? Another shield in the court record. I guess I'd better present this other shield. Other shield in the court record? Oh. We already did this, though. This picture was hanging on the wall in Chief Gant's office. Prosecutor Neil Mar or Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He had started making... Yeah, we already did this. I need to stop burning through because it actually is changing stuff now. The trophy, Mr. Marshall, is holding a little different than yours. Yes, you're right. I remember now. Nope. Yeah, never mind. He already did this. Fuck! Another shield. Oops. It's another shield? Scene of the stabbing. God. Maybe, um, this. God damn it. What am I supposed to fucking do? He doesn't like any of the evidence I show him. Come on! There it goes. Oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna call it here. One, because it's stream time, and I'm, I'm gonna get ready for some sleepies. What the heck? Why is Dix Dixford's not even running? So why is that there? Um. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna call it here for the evening because I need 
it gets the ooh. Oh shit. What was that? Oh, transparency. A generous bestowal. Thing is happening. Whoa, I a thing happened, but I got a no indication. Stole. I'm getting multiple. I'm getting indicators of things happening. A generous bestowal. What the hell was that? I was getting. I don't even had to. I don't have indicators across any of my stuff. I have no, I have no activity. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go back and see what the heck happened there. Uh, but um, anyways, my friends, this is where we're gonna call it for the evening. Um, I don't know, I was, I was getting alerts, but I couldn't see what they were, and they're not showing up on my activity feeds or my event logs. They were, at least were, were thrown? Hold on a minute, thrown. All right, log in real quick. I did, that's weird, nothing that came through like an activity feed or anything. Be part of our world record attempt. No. Oh my god. I have, there's so many freaking. Oh my god. Throne spam with their own notifications of their garbage. I don't care. Announcements. Don't care. Send messages. Gifters. Oh, Lonnie, you. Whoa, dude. You absolute beautiful bean. Uh, also. It shows your message here. Thanks for the low key tutoring. I better see Miss Jada with her new toy soon. Absolutely. How do we, um. Whoa. Oh, okay. I see how it works. Yo, that's awesome. Hold on a minute. <gasps> Okami HD. I've heard great stuff about that. Okay, so if I understand how this works right, I hope they. I'm gonna have to look at it again. Um, I don't know if they send it to me or I go get it. Oh, dude, she's gonna destroy the shit out of those toys. <laughs> but heck yeah, dude. Oh, and thank you for the wireless mic. That, oh, that, dude, that can be super useful for like, um, if we did uh, VR streams again, it'd be really useful. Um, Cause I've been thinking about doing dice streams and stuff and oh dude especially with lego streams because then i can just like have it here instead of having to cut myself out or my voice getting cut out by moving i appreciate the heck out of you dude uh, I, and you know i was happy to help i'm glad uh i'm glad you crushed it i knew you would do great it's just uh it's all just getting like your head wrapped around it right also this music is gonna drive me nuts how do i how do i how do i can i not just exit game Title screen. There it is. Oh, I knew it was somewhere. Oh, much better. All right. Um, I thought we were going to finish this game tonight. So I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the week. Um, because I, my, the original plan was I thought we were going to finish it and then we were going to continue playing Rebirth. But if we're not finished it, maybe we should just try to finish this one real quick. Or maybe we just play this on Monday. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna. I'll do some thinking before stream tomorrow uh, to find out what we want to do. But we're getting even more evidence and crap, and I just feel like I'm gonna. It's just more stuff for me to forget. So we'll have to figure it out. But my friends, let's see. Can uh, we mayhaps go for a little bit of a raid? Who's who's streaming? Who's terminating? Oh, there's an artist. Stardew Valley. A lot of people have been playing that. Apparently, it, uh, 
a huge new um, update or something came with that. I don't know. All right. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to go for a raid because I need to eat. I realize I haven't eaten yet. got to feed the Jada, and then I have to go in the office tomorrow. So I need to go to sleep. Uh, so it is what it is. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Remember to spay new to your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to a rescue if we can afford it, or open up your house if there's a possibility of fostering. It's a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rice out that are very much in need. Anyways, I am Faceif. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for letting me be your stream tonight. I heavily appreciate it. And I'll catch you all next time. See ya. Jada! Jada! Let's go get some food. Let's go! I can't turn it off Late nights and I'm turning up Hate life and I learn to love Down and out now I'm way above I always knew I had it Now I'm living out my dreams Treat that money like an addict It's a habit I'm a fiend Feeling that rush Rocket ready to launch Hands up ready and gone Been waiting too long Trust on plenty that's wrong Old me standing that's gone